Hey my beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing another first impression and I'm so excited about this one because it is a new foundation and it's from Benefit. So they just recently launched what is their new Hello Happy foundation. I have all of the 12 shades right here so you guys already know what that means. I'm gonna be doing 12, all 12 swatches for you guys and as well I'm gonna be demoing it, how to apply it with a brush and a beauty blender and then finally leaving it on for a good eight hours just to see how long it lasts throughout the whole entire day. So you guys will be seeing that all of that in this video. So I'm really hoping that you guys are excited for this video and you guys would like to know how this foundation is going to work out and everything. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. But before we jump into the video, if you guys are still not part of this birdie family, what are you guys waiting for? Don't forget to subscribe. Join me by subscribing. And also don't forget to hit that rainbow notification. That way every time I upload new videos, you guys can be notified. But with that, Melissa, let's go ahead and jump into this first impression. All right, so as always, before we do actually jump into the demo, I I am going to do swatches for you guys, also talking to you guys more about this foundation so you guys are aware of what this foundation claims to do, what we also should be looking for when applying it and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and start with the swatches. Obviously it's from Benefit and it's called the Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundations. It says that it's going to be available online and in store on June 27, but I believe it's already available to purchase online. It retails for $29 and what this foundation claims to do is that it's going to even out your skin tone and blur away all of your imperfections which we're about to see. But also it says that it's a light to medium buildable coverage, so we can definitely build this up. I'm gonna try to see if we can get it to somewhat of a high coverage without feeling cakey. All of their foundation shades carry only neutral undertones. So there's no warm tones, there's no cool tones, it's just all neutral tones. But also something about this foundation is that it carries an SPF of 15, but it doesn't have any flashback. Um, it says that the way that we should apply this foundation is that first of all, we have to shake this foundation well then apply it onto your skin after you know applying our skin our skincare and then we're supposed to blend it out either with a beauty sponge or your fingertips I'm gonna actually do the demo with half of my face with a beauty sponge and then half of the other face with an actual brush just because I want to see the difference between them if we can also get away with using a brush just for those that don't like using a beauty blender or anything like that so don't you worry I got you guys I'm gonna do that all right, my love, so those were all of the 12 swatches and all about that foundation. Now we're gonna get into the demo. So right away, you guys know, I'm gonna first of all uh, prime my face because it's very important to prime my face. So what I'm gonna do to use as a primer is obviously use their own primer. This is the Professional. This is actually one of my favorite primers of all time. So I'm gonna apply this all over my entire T-zone just because that's where usually I have my problematic areas like I get oily, those are where I have my pores and all that stuff. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna go into the foundation. All right, so when I was actually swatching the foundations, I feel like number three was like, kind of like the perfect match. And like I said, I'm gonna use a sponge on this side and I'm gonna use a brush on this side. And the brush that I will be using to apply is the Sigma F88, which is the angle kabuki brush. So I'm gonna use this brush for this side and like I said, a sponge on this side. And like I said, you have to shake this well and then you can just apply dots of this foundation onto your face and then start blending out. I don't know if that was a little too much. I don't know what's too much because that's the reason why I like pumps because they let you know what's one application. With this one, I'm just kind of like, I don't know if this was one pump but we're about to find out. <laughs> oh yeah, this is like the perfect matte shade for me. <laughs> oh my God, wow. This really does leave you like a nice finish. Oh my God, and it feels so lightweight. Oh my God, that's so amazing, I love that. But yeah, I can tell that this Definitely is a like a light to medium coverage. I would say definitely light, not so medium. I can still see all of my little freckles here. I also have a little blemish up here and I can see that, you know, it still looks a little bit red right there. But I'm gonna try to add a couple more drops and see if we can actually build up the coverage. But I will definitely be adding more drops just to see if we can actually add more coverage. But for right now, I guess this is like the first application. This is how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side now with the actual sponge. I already know I'm probably not gonna like it with the sponge just because with the brush, it gives you more coverage. And I barely got 
you know, it, it looks nice, very, very natural, but if I'm gonna play with the sponge, I feel like it's gonna absorb even more of the product, and I don't know. We're just gonna try it. <laughs> So here we go, my loves. This is the first application of this foundation. I'm definitely gonna be adding a second layer just to see how this is gonna work out. So, so far, I do really have to say that I like it because it's kind of like a foundation that you can wear on the days that you wanna get away with saying like, you don't have makeup, but you really do. Because this looks so natural. Like, it just looks like your skin, but better. Like, it's just overall evened out. Like, you know, the little pores are a little bl bit blurred out. I can definitely see that. They're not as noticeable, and especially because I feel like I applied that primer too, so I feel like it also helped. So overall, I feel like right now my skin looks just like, it's just my skin, if you know what I mean. So we're gonna see how it looks after the second layer, but we're gonna go ahead and find out right now. Oh yes, this definitely gave me more coverage. I can see that, but it still doesn't feel cakey, so. That's amazing. That's really great news. But yeah, so this is the second layer and I can definitely tell that like a lot of more of my freckles, especially the little ones, they're all pretty much covered already. And my skin tone looks overall just more like, yeah, you definitely have foundation on, you know? So that's a pretty cool thing that you, you know, if you want it to look natural, you can, but if you also want it to look like actual foundation, you can obviously add a second layer without feeling cakey. My pimple is more covered. I can't really tell the redness there anymore. So it's really good. So I'm gonna move on to the sponge side. Yep, I can definitely see more coverage on this side too. But it's not as much as the actual brush side, that's for sure. Like this still feels like I can still see some of my skin peeking through, so I can definitely tell all of my little freckles are still there, but it's overall more like evened out, if that makes sense. So it still looks very nice, and I still like it. I like the way that it looks very natural. All right, so there we have it. This is now the second layer of the two sides with the brush and the sponge. Um, the thing is that like, if you want a very natural look, I would definitely say Go with the sponge because this looks more like your skin, but just so good, you know? But if you definitely want it to look like makeup, like you do have like foundation on and it looks more flawless, like you could say, because, you know, obviously the coverage, I would definitely say go with the, the brush side. But this looks so beautiful. Like it just, I don't know, like it just looks like my skin, but so much better. Like... It's crazy how good this looks. What I'm gonna do is now add the rest of my uh, my makeup and I'll be back with you guys to let you guys know what I think about this foundation up to right now. And then we're gonna be doing the eight hour check-in and that way at the end I can give you guys my overall thoughts about this whole foundation. So I'll be back with you guys right now. All right, my love, so I'm back. I'm done with all my makeup and I will have it linked down below in the description box all of the products and brushes that I used. So that way you guys know what I used on my face. But the last thing that I'm gonna do is obviously I'm gonna uh, set my whole entire foundation or makeup more in other words, but I always do this. I'm gonna use my Mac fix plus to finish off the look What do I think about the foundation so far now that I have the like all of my rest of my makeup I think it looks so Beautiful like it looks so good like it just looks like your skin, but so freaking flawless you guys I'm really in love and I'm hoping and praying that this looks the same at the end of the day. So hopefully that's the case. The only thing up until right now that I do not like whatsoever is the whole packaging. I hate this packaging. Like, it's so messy. And then also, like, I just don't know if I even applied, like, what is one application, if you could say. So, that's the only thing that I don't like is that whole application and just in general, the packaging. I do like, the only thing I do like is that you can actually see the color of your foundation shade. So, like, you know, if, whenever you're picking it out, you already know. And... That's pretty much all I like about this uh, packaging. Other than that, everything else I don't really like. I do think it's adorable, you know, but it's not just, it's just not practical. For me, it's, I'm very messy and I'm gonna definitely be all over the place with this packaging, but that's the only thing up until right now that I don't like, but everything else about the actual foundation, if it works, so far it does, I feel like. I just, 
I really like the way my skin looks right now. So right now it's we're good. So now we're gonna do the eight hour check-in, which is exactly nine. It's about to be nine. So in eight hours, I will be checking back with you guys, letting you guys know how this foundation held up. Anything drastic happens, I will be sure to let you guys know. But yeah, so with that, I'll see you guys back in eight hours. All right, my love, so we are back. It's been eight hours already. So right now it is 5.15. So as you guys can see, it's been about eight hours already. And this is what the foundation looks like. I just know I'm not really used to like this type of finish um, at the end of the day, just because, you know, obviously we're wearing a full face beat. I'm more used to the full coverage and everything. But honestly, this foundation does not look bad at all after eight hours. I feel like I didn't even get that oily. I was expecting to probably get a little bit more oily. It held up pretty well, I would say. And I think for like an everyday foundation, I think this would be a great a foundation. Even though it's very natural looking, like it's still great for an everyday just because you don't really feel it at all. But if you do, just in case for any other day, like wanna just have that extra glam, you can definitely build it up. We can see that it it is buildable and it doesn't feel cakey at all. Um, but as far as the foundation range, I hope that they bring out more undertones just because I know for a fact not everyone's a neutral undertone. So I just hope that they do extend the range of the undertones and everything and bring out more shades to this whole foundation because I feel like it's a great foundation that everyone would actually really like. Um, my cousin actually tried this out today as well and her face like I was like where did you apply it because her face just looked completely like flawless like so soft and like I don't know it looked like exactly like her skin but she was like I put it all all over my face and I was just like wow. Like I wouldn't even have noticed, like it just looked really nice on her skin too. So now that I saw it on someone else, I can definitely say that this foundation just makes your skin look so good. You know, like it's just like your skin, but better. So definitely on my part, I do say I do recommend it. I just like for an everyday thing, but not for like a special occasion or anything like that. So that's my final thoughts on this foundation, my loves. Let me know if you guys do like it, if you guys have already tried it, picked up a sample about it or anything. So let me know all of that in the comment section down below. If you guys are still not part of the Birdie family, I don't know what you guys are waiting for. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit that rainbow notification. That way every time I upload new videos, you guys can be notified. But with that, my loves, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye. Mwah. It's a light to me. What we... Also, the way to sh yo, what the fuck? Was there just a fly right now? Oh my god, it's back. Okay, pinche cabrón. Estaba todo el güey. Hola, mis amores. Bien. What is this? I also have a. <laughs> Yo, did I already finish this foundation? Oh, fuck! Save it.